thought you were a Melbourne boy, but you were saying before you grew up in Hobart. Yes, uh, Hobart uh, was my birthplace, uh, 17th of May 1940, uh, on the outskirts of Hobart, actually West Hobart. And I stayed there till uh, 68 when I went to New York on a, on a fellowship. But um, uh, I, while I was uh, painting as a full-time artist from uh, 64 when I finished my art school training. I lived in had a studio in the centre of Hobart and I sent my work to Melbourne, Sydney, Adelaide to for exhibitions. Getting the Harkness, which is uh, 21 months to paint in New York City. And uh, at the same time as Brett Whiteley, he got the same fellowship. The first Harkness fellow was Sidney Nolan. So, so I was there for 68, 69. And then I returned uh, to live in Sydney. I could have gone back to Hobart. I went back to Hobart to see if some of my works were stored there. I could have even had my old studio. But I thought, look, you know, I've just come back from New York, I've been to London and all that. I you know, no, too many memories here. So I lived in Sydney. So why did you choose Sydney on your return? Why not Perth, Darwin? Uh, well, because I made a very good friendship. I had a very good friendship with Brett Whiteley uh, in New York. I lived at the Chelsea Hotel, you probably heard of. Very famous with Janis Joplin and Leonard Cohen and Nico and all those sort of people. And Brett White had a studio uh, in 23rd Street, and my studio was on the corner of 23rd and 7th. So we became friends. And he was living in Lavender Bay in, uh, New S in Sydney. So I thought I'd go there, and uh, I got a studio in Oxford Street, Paddington. So at that age, and it being your first time overseas and for your art, how was it emotionally and creatively? Oh, I got the shock of my life. Uh, I had met a person uh, who imported uh, fish from uh, Tasmania. He lived in Hawaii. So he said, well, on your way to New York, come to Hawaii and stay for a week to acclimatise yourself. And then, you know, to New York, well, you know, I'll arrive at the airport, you have to have, in those days, you have to have um, an X-ray of your, I don't know what you do now, X-ray of your, your body. And because I was on a fellowship, I, I didn't have to have a, it was a yellow card or green card or whatever. Uh, and he was waiting for me and I got on the wrong side of the car, you know, because the wheel was on the wrong side. I got to his house, I didn't know how to use the toilet, how to flush the things. There were so many things I didn't understand, and American food, and, but it acclimatised me. And then, because uh, I got a shock, which you, anyone who goes to America w would, uh, I'd, my bank had booked accommodation in San Francisco, months and months ahead, to arrive at a certain time to stay for four days or whatever. So I arrived in San Francisco with my luggage and everything. First stop in, in America and uh, my booking had gone. They'd given to someone else. And they said, if you're not here at well, the 5.30 or 6, whatever, well, your room. And I said, look, you know, what am I supposed to do? There's no more room in the hotel. Didn't know anyone or it was Haight-Ashbury or something, you know. Um, uh, New York was different. You arrive there and uh, they, the Harkless book you into, I think it's uh, uh, Victoria Abbey or anyway, it's a hotel on Broadway and you can arrive at any time and your room will be there. So I got to my, I arrived, I got my room and I thought, well, I can stay here. I'm in New York City. I thought I'd go to, I want to go to the village. So I rushed down, st down the street and I grabbed a paper and uh, I was looking I said, uh, you've got an arts paper? And I went, what are you talking about? You know, anyway, I saw there was a Warhol film being shown in the village. So I went to uh, Greenwich Village and I saw my worst war first Warhol film, Loves of Ondine. There were three people in the audience, but I said, I'm in New York City. I don't know what I thought of the film, but... And then uh, I knew about the Chelsea Hotel, because uh, I knew Brett was staying there. Brett got his Harkness Fellowship from London. I got mine from Australia. But anyway, I knew he was staying there, and all the artists stayed there. It's a very famous hotel on the corner of 7th, near the corner of 7th and 23rd. So I rang the owner, and he said, yes, I know about Harkness Fellowship. Sydney Nolan was here, and Brett White is here. Come along. So I went, and they had this thing there at the Chelsea, that if you were an artist, you could have a room. It was nothing, it was just a room. You know, just a room, but you get it cheaper. And then when you leave, you give them a painting. So that's how they formed the Chelsea Collection. And I found a studio just up the corner, corner at 7th and 23rd, and Brett Whiteley's studio was uh, in 23rd Street. <laughs> 